Hello, my friend. I'm Reverend Walker with Alpha Church. Let's pray together. Lord, open our hearts and our minds to what you would say to us through your word today. In Christ's name, amen. Our scripture reading is taken from Luke chapter 7, verses 8 through 10. For I also am a man set under authority with soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd that followed him, Jesus said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. Then those who had been sent returned to the house, and they found the slave in good health. God bless the reading and hearing of the scripture today. Jesus goes into Capernaum, and there is a centurion, like a general, who has a slave that is ill close to death. And the centurion calls on the elders, the Jewish elders, to go for him to Jesus and ask Jesus to come to his house. And when they go to Jesus, they say, this is quite a man, Jesus. He has helped us in the Jewish faith. He has even built our synagogue. Jesus decides to go. They're on the way and they're almost to the house. The centurion has sent a few of his friends to speak for him. And they say to Jesus, Jesus, you don't need to come all the way to the house. The centurion says, I'm just a man. I'm a man under authority and I understand authority. If I say to this person, do this, they do. That person, do this, they do. And he says, all you have to do is say the word. And Jesus is amazed. Jesus is amazed by this man's faith. And Jesus is amazed by your faith because when we recognize that Jesus is the Son of God and all authority is within him and that he is the Savior of the world, there are no boundaries on him. He is not inhibited. He is the one who has all the power on earth and in heaven. All authority has been given to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to do that which Jesus chooses to do. We know that what Jesus chooses to do is to love us and to help us and to heal us and to guide us and direct us by his Holy Spirit. This witness that Jesus gives about this man is a witness of his faith's expectation. Faith's expectation in the centurion had to do not only with recognizing Jesus' authority, but also recognizing the very presence of the Son of God was walking among us on earth, that Jesus Christ could and would do anything he chose to do at a request that Jesus would want to do this. We found this at Jesus' resurrection also. Jesus had been in the grave for three days and then he rose from the dead and Mary goes to the tomb and she doesn't see Jesus but she sees a gardener but he calls her by name Mary he says to her and she responds back Rabuni and they find each other there because he calls her by name her spirit knows that it's Jesus Christ. Her spirit knows that this is the Son of God, the Savior of the world. All authority is within him. And her expectation that he had risen from the dead was confirmed at that moment. And she went out to preach from there. She was the first preacher of the resurrection to the disciples and to the men and women that needed to hear that Jesus had risen from the dead. But not only that, the disciples find themselves behind locked doors. It's a time for them when they needed to gather up themselves and they needed to lock the doors and they had a fear of the Jews at that time. Their fear led them to turn into themselves and as they turn into themselves, Jesus comes into the room. He has a living body. He can eat and drink. He is himself to tell them, peace be with you. And that peace that floods them is the same peace that floods us 
whenever we've been driven to be alone due to the pandemic, due to the COVID-19, due to the seclusion that's insisted because of the germs that are active in the air. And that experience of being behind locked doors is similar in that Jesus comes to us. Jesus gives us his peace. And when we have that peace, we know to expect that Jesus can do anything in our lives. There are special times in our lives that are especially crucial for us to be on our knees in prayer, to be, have our head bowed, to go to the Lord and to talk with Him. And that's when the Holy Spirit is most powerful. Jesus has made it so. Jesus has made it so that we are comforted. Jesus has made it so that we have a renewing of our mind and our spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that renewing that occurs within us is a comfort that we're not alone, but also that Jesus has the authority. Jesus is putting information into people's minds and hearts and moving us towards a cure for the COVID-19. Jesus is moving in people's minds and hearts and still saving people today. Jesus is moving in people's minds and hearts. He is bringing families closer together in God's agape love. Jesus is moving in people's hearts and he's leading them to open their Bibles in the evening and read the scripture. And I invite you, my friend, to read in Luke chapter 7 and to look again at the centurion's faith and to see that he's a man not only who knows authority, but he knows how to manage expectations of the best that will be because the Son of God is with us. Let's go to prayer now. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lesson from the centurion's faith, and we thank you that you've looked inside of our hearts and you see our faith burning bright there. We thank you. As followers of Jesus Christ, we anticipate the day that this pandemic will be done with, and also we anticipate faith will be strengthened, families will be united, will be loving each other, better than before because this is our Savior's Holy Spirit movement within our lives. As you speak to us by the power of the Holy Spirit, may we not hesitate. And Lord, forgive us please that we have not recognized the authority of the Son of God as great that it is. In Christ's name we pray, amen. The Lord does forgive us because if we ask, he forgives. My friend, if this church, Alpha Church, has been a blessing to you, I invite you to continue your worship process and to give an offering today at alphachurch.org. Go in peace, my friend.